This video is an ad for Spellforce, Conquest of EO. Here's the thing, I've been tempted to make this huge wizard tower for the longest time, but the thing that has kept me from doing it is that these large projects tend to kind of just pile up. That's why I was so excited when Spellforce Conquest of EO reached out and asked us to, well, make anything from the game, really. And what immediately caught my eye was this amazing huge mage tower. Ah, oh, just think of it. Think how cool it's gonna look with lights built in and everything. And the best part is they actually want to keep this tower for themselves. So it's actually going to someone who's going to appreciate it, which also means that uh, the pressure is on to make this really, really good. No pressure, Martina, don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have like a perfect plan or anything yet. All I really know is I want to make this huge. So yeah, I, I have no clue how we're going to ship this thing. <laughs> But uh, that's a problem for future, Martina. Since I'm planning to make this wizard tower huge, we're gonna need a nice and solid base. So I'm thinking wood for the bottom to kind of weigh it down a bit and then have a PVC pipe running through the entire tower so that everything else can kind of hold on to it like a little skeleton. So uh, let's get down to business. Well, <laughs> I might have made this too big. <laughs> like for reference, I'm 170 centimeters tall. So this is uh, very tall. <laughs> I did the math. I've tried to like make it to scale according to the game and how many floors there are. So like it should make sense. It's just when I see it like this, it, it <laughs> and, like this isn't even its final form because we're gonna build outside it on top of it. So it gets uh, uh, probably even a little taller. But also though, can you imagine how cool this is gonna be if it's this big? <laughs> I might have to lower my workbench because I keep like stabbing the ceiling. It's still a bit like flimsy on top, but I think once we start adding stuff around here, it's gonna stop wobbling like this. So the next step is to start building around here, try to make this look like a landscape by using some good old XPS foam, my best friend, and some plaster. Let's go. Base shape, check. And as you can see, I went with a hexagonal shape because basically everything in Spellforce is based on these hexagonal tiles. So I thought it would be kind of cool to like bring that into this build. And doesn't it look way more interesting than just a square? Because we all know hexagon is the best -agon. We're not actually gonna build the tower directly on here because in Spellforce, your tower is basically like your base station where you hire your units to fight for you, you do your crafting and everything, but the cool thing is you can move your tower around using magic and it looks like it's just like emerging from the ground and it's floating on this little island of stone and i want to try to create that illusion by building up some rock here to a point and then sort of build a cone shape like this outwards and then build a tower on top of that. So it's just this PVC pipe holding everything together. But I think if we can pull that off, it's gonna look so freaking cool. But before we get there, we have to make some good old rock texture. We've done this a bajillion times before. You just grab some aluminum foil, make it double, crinkle it, uncrinkle it, make a little bowl, grab some plaster, put some water, scoop the goop, and then we just grab the goop, put it in the bowl, and wait. Like that's it. Cheap, quick, easy, rock. And now, rock smash. It's just easier to have these little pieces to use as like puzzle pieces when we assemble it. And we're gonna use some good old sculpt mold, which is basically like both a glue and like a modeling compound to bind everything together and like make everything seamless and nice. So let's finish the base. Now we make the cone. That was 
easy part because now begins the tower construction. So the design of this tower is uh, complex to say the least. So I've tried to make a sketch of it just to wrap my head around what's going on here. And it looks like this. If I tried to just start building this, I think it would be just chaos. So my plan is to break it down into three pieces. So if we cut it here and here, we have one, two, three parts. Because if I don't break it up, it's gonna be chaos. But even if I only focus in on this bottom part, there's still so many things sticking out in every direction that it's hard to just pick a spot to begin. So I've tried to break it down even more. And if we look really, really close, you can kind of see that the base shape is an octagon. So we're basically just gonna strip everything down to just one octagon. We're just gonna simplify and simplify and simplify into very small shapes. If not, it's, it's impossible to build anything. So step one, octagon in cardboard. Octagon. Now that we have this, it's gonna be much easier to like make little bits and pieces sticking out everywhere because we can just like attach it to this one. It's gonna be a lot more shopping cardboard. <laughs> <laughs> this is supposed to go up there. We need a new table. Hold on. And then, Jesus freaking. <laughs> it is taller than me. <laughs> I did mean to do it like this. I just, it's very different when you see it in real life than uh, compared to when you just draw it up with like measurements and stuff. Honestly, I think it is ridiculous, dumb and so freaking cool at the same time. But you know, it does make sense if you take a uh, like three centimeter figurine here, put it up here. The tower is the size it's supposed to be. Like it's supposed to be just stupidly huge. And just think when it has all the details, all the lights, the paint job, everything. I think you're gonna look so good. So we have the cardboard base done, but this is not its final form. We have so many more details to add. I have a bunch of details I want to add to the castle. Some of them are some windows like these. I've also laser cut just a bunch of these little shingles to add to some of the roofs. Lots of beams, lots of lots of tiny little details that all are gonna make up this super fancy, super hopefully detailed tower. It's detail time. Mm. done with the tower design we just have to add a layer of mod podge as well as some paper towels just to add a bit of texture and bind everything together Ta-da! 
construction complete. And you know, I think that technique with the paper towels and the glue worked out quite nicely. It feels a lot more sturdy and I I think it covered up most of the very obvious like cardboard texture. There's a couple of things we have to fix first, which first of all is lights. My favorite part. <laughs> For the LEDs this time, we're gonna go very fancy with a 12 volt power supply and a 12 volt RGB strip. Woo! So if you go, bloop, power, RGB. Why overcomplicate it when you don't have to? Cause now I can just take this and I can go in the little PVC pipe in there. I can just go to the top. And we have lights. Thank you. It's easy for once. <laughs> Honestly, I think the most challenging part is just gonna be getting this LED controller in there and the power plug like on the backside. So let's just do the difficult first. Well, this is a weird angle. <laughs> All right. So I'm gonna put this to go there. Mark it. Ah, there we go. Pretty neat. And then I just carve a little hole with the LED controller like there. And then this cable goes whoop, up the tube. Nice. LED controller mounted, power button, power plug. Very nice. So now we can just extend this cable here to go to the middle through the tube out here. Everything's hooked up. And now if we press the button, there's light. Ah, and you can see there's only lights in sections here and they all correspond to the placement of the windows so we don't waste a lot of power. So now let's just grab some aluminum tape and try to line the insides of all these pieces because then the light will just go ins, 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 bouncing back and forth and become bright too. Okay, so I finished up adding in all that aluminum tape and I got a little carried away, so I've done uh, a few more things. <laughs> Let me just show you. Basically, there's aluminum tape on every part where there are windows. So like down here and up here. And as you can see in all the windows here, I've added some acrylic on the back here and a little layer of copy paper just to diffuse the light. And I've also masked out all the windows so we won't get any paint on the acrylic. And then down here, I've basically just fastened the castle using some sculpt mold to blend it together and hold it down. And you can see the transition here is looking much nicer. And finally, down here, I've added just some roots so it looks like it's really been pulled up from the ground and a couple of these floating rocks at the tips here and these have just been made by uh, some steel wire with some paper and glue on the outside to create some texture so these are actually possible it's looking so good so this tower that we're building is actually the tower of the necromancer in spellforce conquest of eo you play as a powerful mage of your choice and they all have different towers and you take over this tower after your old master just vanishes without a trace. And your goal is now to become the most powerful mage of the land. So if you play as a necromancer, you can raise these undead minions to fight for you, or you can be an alchemist that crafts potions and consumables to use in battle, or you can be an artificer that crafts glyphs and artifacts to improve your units. And what's cool is that all these mages have very different gameplay styles, so you can experiment with different tactics and explore new storylines. Now, it's a turn-based strategy game with a unique role-playing story and focus on exploring, expanding, exploiting, and exterminating. It's a lot of fun to play, the graphics are a bonus, and can we just appreciate this gorgeous interactive spellbook? Just look at that thing! It keeps track of all your spells and your research, which is pretty cool. So if you want to check it out, it's available on PC only, so I'll leave a link to it down below. And back to the project! We're done with the entire construction of the whole tower, like we can finally do the fun stuff. It's finally time to do the painting and adding in all the little details, the foliage, the miniatures, everything. Let's freaking do this!
I had to put the camera like three meters away just to get all of this in view. <laughs> By far just the tallest thing we've ever made, <laughs> hands down. I mean, it's taller than me. What's with the voice crack? It is complete. I had so much fun doing the paint job and putting in all the tiny little miniatures at the end. So satisfying. And by the way, all the miniatures were painted by Arilla's miniatures on Instagram. She's awesome, so check her out. All that's left to do is to push this little button back here. Three, two, one. <laughs> oh, I love that color. <laughs> I swear, everything is better with lights in it. Everything. Just like it. Eh. Oh, I love the window designs with the little diamonds. Like, just look at those windows. The diamond pattern. I think one of my favorite parts about this build is the fact that you can just like walk around it and there's things to look at everywhere like even on the back on the sides it's like wherever you look there's something to look at I love it and now the question I'm sure we're all wondering about is how the heck do we ship this thing with all these little fragile miniatures everywhere and just the things that pokes out in different directions and like how and the, the answer is, I, I don't know. <laughs> I haven't quite figured it out yet, okay? Like, I have an idea in mind where I like build a plywood box and then try to like suspend it in there somehow and just like fill it with little, like those little packaging bowl things, but I don't know, maybe there's a better way. Actually, you know what? Why don't you, why don't you tell me <laughs> how you would pack this? Like, give me some suggestions here, okay? I help a friend out. <laughs> Please. But once we figure uh, out how we're gonna ship it, we're gonna post it on Instagram because I'm sure you would like to know as well. <laughs> so yeah, I'll, I'll leave our Instagram down there. I'll keep you posted. <laughs> Finally, I just want to give a huge thanks to THQ Nordic for asking us to build this tower. I honestly had a blast building it. I think it turned out so freaking cool. And remember to check out the game Spellforce Conquest of EO. I'll leave a link to it down below. And thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. And now it is time, let's have a look at the final result!